Assalamu alaikum and welcome back to Al Bayan after a long time. In this video, we are going to discuss three categories of the best books from toddlers to seven years of age group. But first, let's discuss about this preschool bag. I got this preschool bag from a local stationery and bookstore over here in UAE. It has 10 books with 10 different topics each book. It is a very good buy for the preschoolers because it has a full page description. For example, you can see green, white, blue in the objects that are yellow, red, blue or white. So it gives a lot more to explore for the preschoolers. Similarly, you have different topic books with different pictures and the good thing is good paper quality and good bright pictures for the preschoolers because preschoolers are interested more in exploring with bright colors and bright pictures. Now let's move on towards the next category of books. So I displayed these books in two, three categories. One, two and three. From the basics to the comprehensive step by step. In this video, you will watch how to make the time of your kids more productive with these books either they are learning new vocabulary from these books new words phonics either they are learning from the pictures poems colors or numbers either you are homeschooling or having sessions with your kids at school or you are a teacher this video will be very beneficial for you so let's get started let's talk about the first category of books which is basic let me show you these books individually. Actually, uh, you can got them ordered from a Facebook page. I will attach the link in the description box where you can get them ordered. For the display, I chose only four books. But actually, these books are 60 in number with 60 different topics. And the good thing about these books is, let me show you. One line sentence and the most descriptive pictures as you can see so what the preschoolers are interested in they're interested in pictures they're interested in scenarios you can use these books for the bedtime stories and these will help develop more vocabulary in them as you can see every topic is conveying every title of the story is conveying a message we walk together social skills development vegetables general knowledge weekend a general information about what happens on days and how many days when is the weekend the morning it's a basic manner and the skill so these books are very good for the preschoolers i will at i am attaching the link in the description box you can order them from there okay so let's move on to the next category let's move on to the second category of books which is least comprehensive let's discuss the first one first you all are aware of this book brown beer brown beer what do you see this is a very famous book but if you don't know you can buy this book i recommend this book this is a must buy for the preschoolers or the kids you are homeschooling age 2 or 2.5 3 or 3.5 this is a must have book for you at home or for the teachers who are uh, taking sessions for the special needs kids additional needs kids or toddlers so let's see what's inside this book i must recommend you why because it has the most comprehensive picture display it is good for eye hand coordination recognition of colors recognition of animals recognition of how one can communicate and tell why something is happening okay next let's see brown beer brown beer what do you see i see a red bird looking at me now when you turn on the page you see a big red bird and the question is being asked from the red bird red bird red bird what do you see i see a yellow duck looking at me so you get a concept of what the what skills the child is developing through this book speech and language skills the child is developing the recognition of colors when you see the yellow duck, point it and ask your kid. Okay, so what do you see? I see a yellow duck looking at me. Similarly, the author has made 
this book interactive anyhow you can see it with good display of pictures colors bright scenarios as you can see so see that's finished now now at the end you can see we see a brown bear a red bird a yellow duck a blue horse a green frog a purple cat a white dog a black sheep a goldfish and a teacher looking at us that's what we see see this book is very beneficial to help develop expressive language skills also in the kids now let's move on to the next one this book the most bright book right now i have 10 little dinosaurs as you can see the cover is a bit shiny and gloomy 10 little dinosaurs i use this book this book in my special needs session when i have with my kids so let's see when i have it with my students the students feel more interacted so here comes the most gloomy and shiny book i have right now with me i use this book for my special needs session with when i have it with my additional needs students as you can see it has bright colors the most gloomy book eye catching so before starting to read the book what i do is i let them count the dinosaurs one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and then what we do is we discuss the colors green yellow red similarly when we open the book you will find is find it very great how let's see 10 little dinosaurs see full of bright pictures full of bright colors as you can see if you want to read this that's great the child will get a concept what's happening if you don't want to just for a few seconds let the child involve in what's happening in the scene and see what's going on see mama dinosaur and the baby dinosaurs you can explain this to the kid 10 little dinosaurs all say roar now let the child count the dinosaurs next when you when you move on to the next one 10 little dinosaurs walking in a line now let the child count again 10 are they 10 ask the question from the child are they 10 okay next when we move on to the next one they say that nine little dinosaurs now let the child count how many dinosaurs are there whenever they miss just ask the question where is the ninth one so this is an interactive book where you can interact with your child in the most communicative manner to help develop speech skills, to help develop eye-hand coordination, focus and attention span. It's full of colors, the most bright colors, which is a very good sign for the preschoolers because the preschoolers enjoy these type of books. So let's move on to the next page. I'm just showing you so that you get an idea how this book is very beneficial. When the sixth, you can help the child count how many dinosaurs are there this will help develop their mathematical skills regarding the counting okay so next one next one see there are little dinosaurs they can count either they are five or not four and then they can count four or not i like this book very much because i use this book in my sessions as well two little dinosaurs and then one little dinosaurs you can also show them how the feelings of a dinosaur are when he is left alone he is sad so next okay so all 10 dinosaurs meet with their mama dinosaur as you can see it's not a raptor it's not a t-rex not a mother monster phew it's mom who's come to find him and all others too so you can show this to your child to your kid that see the dinosaur is happy now so at the same time the emotions are being also conveyed and being taught to the children let's talk about this book you call that a pet what i like about this book is the child gets a concept of what are wild animals and what are pet animals basically this is a story in which a boy discusses with uh, his mother that i need a pet at home so he always likes wild animals so he got a concept what are wild animals and the best thing about this book is they have used the real images so you can see Here's the story and on the opposite side, they have used the real pictures.
This is a very good bedtime storybook. I want my hat back. This is also for preschoolers. You can use this book for age 3.5 or 4 as well to help develop the reading skills in the kids. Okay, so let me show you what's inside the book. I want my hat back. My hat is gone and I want it back. Let's see what's next because he is finding his hat and he's not getting his hat. So he keeps on asking with different animals, Do you, have you seen my hat? See. So in every picture you will see that on one side they have displayed a picture and on the other side it's a question or a story. Have you seen my hat? At last I will show you when he founds his hat, he is happy. So let's move on to the next category of books which is the comprehensive one okay so here we go i have uh, four volumes of these books let me show you one by one okay so the first one little kids first big book of animals let's see what's inside actually this is more picture based more information based more science based so this book is good for the age group five to seven years old so that they get an idea how things are made how animals are interacting this book has also a big picture display i always like books for the kids that has big picture displays because they convey a good message and it's more like uh, thinking capability of the kids increases in this way so let's see see cheetah family they have discussed what kind of animal is it sorry what kind of animal is it? It's a mammal. Parts of Africa and Asia. Size, food, sounds, babies. So, all the things. See, they have also choose the interactive method. You can see the picture quality is very, very nice. These books are basically from National Geographic Kids. So, if you want to buy them, you can get them from Amazon or you can get them from any stationery shop. These all animal discussion. Similarly, facts are discussed over here. And a little bit of information is also discussed over here. And the good thing is picture quality and the real picture usage. See, the most interactive book I have ever seen for the kids age group 5 to 7 years of age. I like it very much by the way. So let me show you the other ones as well. I will go through it quickly so that you get an idea how it is. See, the most interactive book. The child will learn many, many things from this book. So, about the animals, now let's move on towards the next book, which is Little Kid's First Big Book of Book of Bugs. Let's see what's inside this Little Kid's First Big Book of Bugs. Let's open it up. Oh, so here's the process of how a butterfly is made. Good. While showing the pictures from the book and reading it to your kids, you can also show them a YouTube video regarding the topic for example if there is a topic of caterpillar see whole page interactive picture whole page picture that conveys a message of conveying more information and thinking skills chapter two the uh, this book has chapters so the child can learn them properly see honeybee the most interactive thing about this book is the real pictures the real quality and the information they are providing is genuine and on point. No extra things, no comprehensive things, just on point and what the child needs to learn. See, I'm just giving you a wide view of what the book is all about. See, there are some experiments also in the book which the child can do with their elders. whole page picture i like this the most okay so these are theme based next let's move on to little kids first big book of dinosaurs let's see what's inside this book is also interactive whole picture display real pictures usage and information about the dinosaurs what were they how are they made how they became ex extinct and how they are now no more on earth and they have mentioned the names of the dinosaurs as well some kids like to read about dinosaurs and their names to learn them so here they are i'm just flipping up, flipping up the pages quickly so that you get an idea of how this book is facts again when it lived Middle Jurassic food, plant size. You can see they have a comparison human body and the dinosaur body. So you can see. In brain breaks uh, for the kids 
who needs brain breaks, who are hyperactive, you can use these books for them. So last one that I'm going to show you, Little Kids' first big book of why. Usually children do ask a lot, a lot of questions. So this book is very beneficial for them to answer. See, why am I special? You are one and only. Nobody can exist like you. Everybody has different fingerprints that shows their identity. And how things work. How does a parachute fly in the air? How bubbles are made? Milk magic experiments. I already told you there are some experiments in the book as well that you can perform with your child to make the activity more and more involving for the kids. Okay, so... Why do dogs make good pets? Why do some bugs bite? Why not? How many things are wrong in this picture? See, this is a very good activity for the kids to find out what is going wrong, wrong in this picture. So that's a wind up for today. I hope that you like this video and the information being provided in this video. And you can get the books ordered from Amazon. And I will link the um, information being provided in this video. These books are the chosen ones for the kids whom you are homeschooling, whom the teachers are teaching for the toddlers. And I specifically make, made categories for them so that it is easy for you to buy them for the kids of uh, a specific age. So these books are very, very good. I highly recommend this book and this book, uh, most of all. Little Kids First, Big Book of Animals and this one. I highly recommend them. So see you in the next video, inshallah. Okay, till then. Bye-bye.